And this is the smallest indoor garden I have seen. Four inches deep by five inches wide and with everything expanded 18 inches tall to tuck underneath of a countertop or be perfect next to a desk or in a bedroom as an additional little room lamp. Most of your indoor hydroponic kits will come with everything that you need. This one is missing a few things and we'll talk about that in a minute. The light bar goes up to 12 inches tall. Now on the description on Amazon, it says 13 inches, but I think they're taking into consideration a little bit below here, measuring 12 inches from the top of the light all the way down to your grow deck. That's gonna really limit you as far as like tomatoes or anything that's gonna get really tall. I think this is perfect for flowers or smaller, maybe little herbs that you wanna have in your kitchen. The grow baskets are a little different which I like. You can see they have this little tong right here that's sticking out. And then on your actual grow deck itself, I have some pluses and minuses. One plus is this thing right here, which is your water measuring. And as it floats up and down, it will tell you how much water you're going to want to add. This unit does not have any little peekaboo window or anything to be able to tell you when to add water. So you're gonna want to keep a close eye on the float. The top has only three spots for plants, so you get three of the baskets. The one negative that I don't love is the little spot where you're going to fill the water. There is nothing to cover that. Light and water and nutrients all create algae. So you're going to want to find something maybe to cover that. I just made a little tin foil ball that I can pop on the top and cover the hole. It's a little makeshift if you have a little ball. I think a golf ball would be too big, so something smaller, maybe a little kid's toy. It does come with your growing medias, as we call them, or your little plugs. It gave me two sizes. One is the bigger, thicker size, and this one is the smaller skinnier size now the smaller skinnier size is very equivalent to an aero garden or any other generic type brand so i think they're telling you you can use these but it did come with the bigger ones which i actually do like a little bit better because they fit in that net cup nice and snug and there's not a lot of space where this one doesn't quite fit a lot of these indoor gardens you're going to put your your growing media or your little pot or whatever you want to call it and you're gonna plop it right down inside on other systems and then they have these little dome covers your little dome covers would sit over top and then it's gonna create that humidity at the beginning to let your plants germinate now you can see these dome covers actually do fit on this but this kit comes with something I've never seen it has this little basket and you can see the cutouts down here and a dome that goes on top. You're going to put your growing medias down inside with your seeds, which you can see I am already starting to germinate some sweet peas. Then you're gonna cover it with the little dome that it gives you and you can put this in, it says a shaded area, but like your whole house is shaded. So you're gonna put this in a spot that doesn't have light on it and just leave it for two to three days and let the seeds do their thing, let them break open and get the plant started. Then you can move them from this into your basket and then place it into the grow deck. Now let's talk about a couple other things I know you're all asking. The actual amount of water that this thing can hold. I gave you the measurements, but this is a 24 ounce mason jar. And ahead of time, I figured it out and poured it in. And it's 24 ounces. You're only gonna get 24 ounces in this. If you're really getting a plant to grow and do well, you're probably gonna have to be adding water every other day, every day, depending on how 
far along or how far advanced those roots are. Your light actually comes off, which I really like. So you can detach the light bar and you just have your little tub. So if you need to take it over and clean it or you just wanna add water that way and dismantle it from the light, you don't have to worry about accidentally getting anything wet and destroying the light or the electrical part of the unit. But let's point out, there is nothing electrical inside this tub. You're looking at something like an Aero Garden or the Hortuz, which is one of my new favorites. Those usually come with an overtop water flow system or the Hortuz actually has a air stone type pump inside. And my other big units all have pumps. If you're doing deep water culture, you have an air stone. This is nothing. So if we remove the light bar and we're just growing plants inside this little container, now we're talking crat key. Crack key is a method of growing your hydroponics where no electricity is involved. There is no airflow on the root. When you're doing crack key and you're doing DIY and you're doing it in maybe a coffee container or a Tupperware and you've made it yourself, you still have to provide some kind of light. You think about this as a crack key garden with a light bar then you're all set. Then it's all in one. And they call this a full spectrum light, which, okay, I can't really get the wattage. It's kind of like some of it says eight watt, some of it says 12 watt, depending on what you're looking at on Amazon and trying to read through the box and the little instruction manual. Underneath, you're gonna see all of the different lights and they have different readings on them. There are nine white, six red, and three blue lights throughout the whole lighting system. And that's gonna give you a totally different color. I've talked about different colors before. My huge units behind me are very bright white. A lot of the Aero Gardens will have white or a flower mode. My Hortas has, has a flower mode, which turns a little bit more pink. And one of the last LED grow lights that I reviewed had more of a yellow hue. This one is gonna be kind of that pinky purpley color, which to me is just great for flowers. Now I said a lot of the units come with everything that you need. And here's a couple things that this is missing. Obviously, you're not getting the standard domes that you get in all of the other kits. You get this little guy instead. Food. There's no plant food. I've seen a couple of reviews that they got plant food, but mine specifically says in the instructions that you have to go out and get your own. But if you are brand new to this and this is going to be a gift for someone, uh, I think Christmas is right around the corner. Then you're gonna wanna grab plant food. And I'll tell you one of my favorites is Urban Leaf. This is the little container that it comes in. And one reason I like it is it's really a no mess bottle. You just squeeze it and your fluid will go up and you can get the perfect measurement for how much water you're using or what you need to put in it. This actually has a quarter ounce and a half ounce on the food. I would start with a quarter ounce. This is so small. When you first see your leaves come out, they're called seed leaves or a seed leaf. And all that does is get the plant started. There's enough nutrients in the seed. Once you start to see bigger leaves that resemble the plant that you're growing, those are called a true leaf. And when you see the true leaf start to emerge, and then you wanna add your food. You will want to be trimming your roots with this. If you lift this up and you're noticing that there are just a lot of roots hanging down in here, you're gonna wanna trim them. And your roots are gonna probably be so thick that you can't cutely slide these back out. You're just gonna wanna lift this up, trim the roots down and put it back in. Now let's go ahead and plug this sucker in and see what it does. The button is really easy. You just touch it and it comes on. There's not much to that part of it. But it is really nice that it has an electric timer in it. Now I've seen a couple reviews where I have to correct them and they say you just turn it on and turn it off. I mean, you could if you wanna turn it on in the morning and turn it off in the evening. But once you first turn it on, it has a 12 hour cycle. So the light will stay on for 12 hours and it will automatically go off for 12. So as long as you don't touch the button on the top, it's gonna do whatever it needs to 
to do. Now, I wanna say, one of the things you guys all ask me about are these cords to everything that I review. I can't believe how many people wanna know the actual measurement of the cord, but I get it. This has a standard plug. This plug is two inches. The rest of the cord is 46 inches long, giving you 48 inches of movement on a counter. And it just has a normal jack on the back which plugs in right behind your light. So that is super easy. I will make sure that I give you guys an update or you might see it in the background of my other videos. If you wanna become part of the Lettuce Head community, all you gotta do is subscribe. Check out this playlist over here for more about indoor gardening.